Jam right here, y'all. I don't know how long <laughs> snippet could be, so we just go for under 30 seconds, man. Jason Aldi. Like, that song is, check him out. Yo, the lyrics, man, I'm telling you, the lyrics is where it's at. The lyric, a song isn't a song without the lyrics. It's just at that point, an instrumental. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest about this. Alright, so, anywho, hey, what's up? How y'all doing? I know I just kind of jumped on in, in it. Welcome, new people. Hello, hello, her, 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 her. Oh, yes, I almost forgot, by the way. Thank you, guys. Thank you to all my subscribers. Everybody that share, like, post, watch. Dude, we got 20 subscribers. Like, I'm excited. I know some people like, oh, yeah, I got like 20,000. And, man, dude, that's one. That's goals. Career goals, but uh, 20 from zero, hey, I ain't complaining, I dig it. I could still be at zero, I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, let's be honest, well, I'm happy. So I wanted to say thank y'all, look, yeah, it works to do the bottom part, because I got my, we're going to do the poetry today. That I said that I was going to do for y'all like eons ago. Ooh, excuse me, I just keep yawning. All right, I'm sorry, my bad. Y'all know y'all gonna get this because not edited. Yeah, don't mind my grape juice sitting back there, ironing the board. At least y'all know I iron my clothes. I mean, you know, <laughs> military thing. All right. Forgiveness learned. Oh, using the shamanic medicine deck. My new call is set. Loving it. Dig it all. Oh. It's been calling to me for a while. Look at my closest self. But, um, oh, yeah. Welcome to Spiritual Experiences. See, look, y'all gonna learn that my brain just be everywhere. There's a lot going on up here all the time. A lot. A lot. A lot. But welcome to spiritual experiences. You know, this life is about the experiences, and honestly, they're all spiritual. Especially if you're here. Watch me, because then you follow tarot and all that. Yeah, so. Hello, conscious person. People. What's going on? All right, Spirit, allow me to be a clear channel for the highest good of all and light of love for the collective, for the collective. Thank you, Spirit. Really appreciate it. Archangel Michael, password protection. Archangel Raphael for healing. Archangel Gabriel for death and transformations. The highest good of all, light love. 
Archangel Uriel. I know, man. Look, look, I be slipping, dude. I'm so sorry. I apologize. And I'm rocking it. Maybe it's because I feel like you're already with me because I got, you know, shirt on. Okay, but anyway. Appreciate you, man. Homie, homie. All right. Look, it, don't mind me and my little conversations I've been having with my guys, but we got a personal relationship. We got a thing. That was my song like back in the day. <laughs> What's going on for the collective? Trust in the process. We'll find a strength. Transformations, butterflies, you have now blossomed. Now in your cocoon, all uncomfortable and smushing around and Okay, okay. You're no longer fearful, excuse me, yeah, I know that was a partial yarn. You're no longer fearful of things that you don't know. Of taking a leap of faith, of jumping off a cliff and not knowing if you can fly or not. Because, I mean, when a butterfly does come out a cocoon, you know, a transformation period, we we don't know if we can fly. When a bird hatches, it doesn't know if it can fly. It just feels this urge to, you know, stand on the edge and flap its wings and just go for it and just sink or swim. And you can either freak out and fall to the bottom of the tree, which is, you know, our tower moments. You know, it's it's our transformation times. It's the times that we go in and we're like, yeah, that ain't work out. And yeah, you're going to get hurt. You could, worst case scenario, lose your life. Like, that's where we're seeing all these suicides and murders, and that's where that's coming from. But, and you're using your creativity to help your trust process and figure things out because it's, it's great mystery and trust. So and you're actually trusting the fact that there is a mystery, which is pretty cool if I say so myself. To have trust within the mystery. That's magic. I'm just saying, I was that kid that used to make a wish every time I looked outside and saw the North Star. Like, honestly, ever since I saw Pinocchio, like, I really was like, okay, I got it. I understood it. You know, um, you know, I look like, what, 19? Baby, that's so cute. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You see this girl? Well, no, my hair's cut. But, um, I got some grass. I ain't old, old, you know. I'm gonna say 30s and new 20s. So y'all know I'm around there. Can y'all hear that? I'm sorry if y'all can hear that. That's my brother snoring in the next room. Like I That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry, that just took my head completely off. Okay. But um Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. That just really just and that usually don't happen. I'm usually like really, really in the zone. Um but no, I used to wish, you know, upon a star and especially when you see a shooting star. And I remember last year. So somewhere a little before Christmas. I was standing outside. It was a nice Clear day. Or clear night. I mean, the sky was like this beautiful darkness. I mean, I know it's not weird, especially when I'm talking about like everything, but it's like a beautiful darkness. Like it was like my god, completely jet black, but it had like. That essence is on a purple and bluish hue to it. And with this 
one bright star just there. And I was out chatting. I was outside chilling, smoking a black mom because I don't smoke for my kids. Look, I, I know I gotta quit. It's a bad habit. I'm, just, I'm working on it. I am, I am. But <laughs> anywho, hey, we all got something, thank you. We all got something that we like. But I remember looking up at the sky and I happened to see three shooting stars. Like, like it was and I actually saw three sets of them. Like, I was like, oh my god, that was, and then like, I would be, you know, talking about it or on my phone and then I have to look back up, see again, like, I don't know. It felt like three deja vus. Like, I don't know, because I, I, I've i never seen three shooting stars come across in the same exact spot three separate times. Like, I was really thinking about it, because when I go back in my memories, I see, like, pictures or movies. Like that. That's why sometimes I close my eyes or kind of stare up. But, um, and... Every time I've ever, like, made a wish, especially when I see, like, you know, three weeks you shoot a star, I always know you're supposed to have three. Hmm. Let me look into that. Nine. Oh. Cat. Lion. Nine lives. Cats have nine lives. Uh, oh. 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 Okay. 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 All right. All right. So when I used to make um, my wishes, I used to always wish for, I'm sorry, I'm still tripping out this little epiphany I just had, Um, but yeah, Um, we'll get to that another time. A whole nother topic. (laughs) Good topic, but a whole nother topic. Um... Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, I was wondering. Okay. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me, y'all. Work with me. Stay. Stay right here. I know. I'm drifting off. Work with me. Told y'all there's a lot going on. But I used to make a wish for one for myself, one for like family or friends, and then like one for the world just because one I felt like it's selfish to keep you know it's three wishes like with my one wish I could literally wish anything I could only have one wish like if I only had like I don't want to be like oh because I have three wishes and like wish for stupid stuff like so what what could I wish for if I only had one wish so that's what I would wish for you know myself personally and well yeah and you know, one for my family and friends, and one for the world, like, because the world was crazy. And it was in the songs and TV and everything, but you know, I believed in magic. And just seeing something like that on that night, it was. very still like so and i know i'm taking a while to describe to do that to describe this but it i i have to bring back like everything from that night because it was I'm trying to pull y'all there with me imagine standing outside in ohio live up north got your coat on so you know you're toasty but you know you feel that cool crispness of the air but not where it's like harsh or hurting it's like just there just literally a present state of being the whole time I was outside and the trees not really rustling but you feel the air like I said you it 
it was moving, but not. You could feel it like around you. And I looked up and it was this beautiful star and it was the North Star. So I was like, oh, I get to make a wish. And then I saw it get excited and the the background of it was like a perfect piece of art a perfect piece of art with just the right balance of everything through and through that's and i know it took me a while to get there but i promise it's so worth it Coming out of my cocoon, at least, it was, it's like that night every day. Like just happiness, bliss, excitement, and peace. It was an indescribable sensation. I... And even though I feel it now, I still can't describe it because it's just like, wow, it's almost like, just wow, just wow, just wow. Especially being able to wake up and honestly get to the point where, like, we all feel this big energy shift. We all feel this, but we but also feeling like we're free to a certain degree. Even, I don't care what stage you are in leaving the matrix, but you you feel that, you feel this overwhelming sense of peace coming. It's there. You, you, you just feel it is there. Definitely there. Madison Will. It's the next card that came out. Continuation. Green, her chakra. Oh, yeah, the butterfly is purple. Thank you, Hurricane Charles. Raphael. All right. Continuation. We, we, we kept continuing cycles and going through the same thing over and over and over again. And now we're about to go into a new cycle, a cycle of peace. Is okay. Anybody else? But I'm seeing the Roman, the the ruins over there. I think Greece or Ireland. I'm not good at geography. I only know the location of the places that I want to go to. <laughs> That's it. I, I don't know. I don't mm-mm. like though. No. Like England. Oh yeah, Harry Potter's there, of course. Australia is the only place that's a continent and a country. And and supposedly it's supposed to be like a bunch of like thieves that everybody like had kind of like, oh you guys go prisoners because the prisons are overcrowded, they put them on their own country and then they form their own society. Say that's pretty damn cool. Talking about trash mutation within itself for a whole country. So if they could do it, I mean, I'm just saying. Come on, America. You need to get there. But I know they be having me share some random ass stuff, but um, it's starting to come in. But this didn't it look like Atlantis to you. I I don't know why I want to say Atlantis in the room, but it, the first one was Atlantis. Huh. Oh, well, music. Oh, well, that makes sense. I don't play music. Four legged endurance. Love Siberian Huskies. There is an animal. And I know a lot of us look for, you know, animal totems and we look for, like, real animals. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes we actually see a spirit of an animal. (sighs) 
because when I was younger in my neighborhood, there was this street and um, I couldn't go down this street after a certain time. Didn't really know why, because this, but this dog would, or well, now we know, now I know it was a dog. I used to call it the wolf dog. We're little here, work with us. But it was a Siberian Husky, and I promise you, it, it's just kind of weird, but cool. No, it's cool. No coincidences. Looks just like that wolf, and he used to appear to a lot of us. Honestly, like a lot. Of us and uh, yeah, like yeah, we used to see it. But as as there as people got older, people stopped seeing it as much. I saw it clear up until I moved, which was the beginning of my eighth grade year. Don't know. It would just appear, and we was on our bikes. I mean, stop mid track, like oh hell no, me and going down there. Endurance, keep going. Four legged. Got the strength. Channel your animal spirits, your totems, your spirit guides, your ancestors, they're there. Gaia, the earth, it's all there. You're setting foundations, you're grounded. Definitely leadership qualities. But I like how the person's kind of back there. With another one, like he looks like a hermit or somebody that's just gonna walk by, like kind of looks like you know somebody that you wouldn't think would have the magic wand. And the feather, oh yeah, I dig that. Love these cards. Got two of the new cards in here. Never got trust or foundations yet. All right. So, part two. Trust yourself. You're coming to a new cycle that brings healing. You have the strength. You've built the foundation. We all have y'all. Something's coming. It's going to be nice. So beautiful. Spring's coming early. As it is, I was like, why do I keep looking at this grass and this, like, something? Spring is coming early. You notice the trees have little buds on them already. Uh, and it's kind of cool. I like the trees back here. Even, and I noticed that earlier today, like outside, like I told you, I live up north. Like, we're supposed to be getting like four to seven inches of snow tonight. Like, these people clean out the stores. Like, we not used to snow. We live in Ohio. Y'all that lazy? Y'all don't want to drive in the snow? My back, man. I need a back massage. Oh, oh. Um. Is that a side effect of downloads and stuff? You know, we got all this energy and stuff going on. With somebody put, drop that in the comment. Let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you got the foundation. Keep the endurance. Just there. Keep going with it. Keep running. Keep going full speed with what you're doing. Still the endurance. Because of your endurance, you have trust. Because you trust, you have endurance. Because you built a solid foundation, you're going to have a solid, healthy cycle. I 
because you decided to choose a healthy cycle, you're going to have a strong foundation. Because you got the secret weapon out. All right, let's get into this poetry. This one is Forgiveness Learned. I can keep it all inside and let it kill off the happiness I can achieve in this life. Or I can face my demons, purge the hurt and toxicity of holding on and heal from the unconditional love of myself that's hidden in plain sight. Many people do negative things, but it doesn't mean that they are bad people. Under the right circumstance and conditions, we are fearfully mentally inclined to be capable unconsciously of every kind of evil. Many of, many of us have deep-rooted past traumas and have a difficult time finding a clear window that they can see through. Growth doesn't happen in a day, a week, or a month. And it doesn't happen by listening to a few inspirational talks. Acceptance is to become aware. Growth is implementing what we've learned and becoming more than talk, but walking our walk. We are harder on ourselves than anyone else. We are because we are the only ones who knows our authentic selves. We tend to put our authenticity up while it stares back at us like elves on a shelf. In order to forgive others, we have to start within us. To forgive someone else and not us keeps us teetering on the cusp. I forgive me for I know not what I have done. I'll be mindful of what I speak for words are the ammo of the tongue. I'll forgive me of the past actions, thoughts, and, <laughs> and verbality that should have been held in recluse. Allow me to focus on the present since the past and future are of no current use. Embodying the lessons learned allows us to move on to forgive others, respecting all people like they are sisters and brothers from another mother. Forgive others as if they know not what they do. You finding peace and harmony in the situation may actually bestow unto them a clue. This clue can lead to an introspection. Introspection leads to a sense of renew. We can all rise like phoenixes, but it first starts with you. Oh, wow. Well, thank you, Spirit. That was a well collective. That is the message. I ain't even, I mean. Keep going. You got this. It doesn't matter what happened or anything in the past. You know, you, you're you here. You're where you are. If you weren't supposed to be here, you wouldn't be here. Like, And that's just a plain fact. If you weren't supposed to be here, you would not be here. You would be, I don't know, wherever else you would be. You, you wouldn't be here. So stop worrying. Stop doubting. The times you stop worrying and doubting what? It brought you here. So think about where we all can go when we let it completely go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, y'all know I got issues. <laughs> let it go. True. In the winter time, during the hard times, through the, you know, all, all those swords, transformations. Yeah, it gets hard, and you know you gotta. But you know, sometimes you gotta bring yourself out of it. You better go ahead and look in the mirror and ask yourself, "Do you want to be a snowman?" I'm sorry, y'all. That was coming. I seen that, and I just, I, I, I couldn't take the chance to just, you know, let that slide. But y'all know I'm forty eight. I don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, man, we gotta. Let it go, because look at where we are, and think 
about where you're going because that's where you're going. If you truly believe that that's where you're going and that you can achieve that, that you can do it, and then you take that and you actually make plans and take that and then create action and purpose behind it more than just, you know, money say something that you seriously do within your heart. Like treat your your life the way you would treat someone you're in love with. For all of us, twin flames. Treat you your your life as your you would your twin flame. Yeah, they say, yeah, that's it. Look, so obviously they want y'all to marinate on that. So, I mean, I can't, they don't even want, I want to pick up the crystal cards, but they keep saying curiosity, kill the cat. And then the fact that I had nine with the cat, and we just going to not, probably, of course, this is so. Anywho, we ain't going to be nosy. They say, don't be nosy, might be this, don't be nosy, might be that. So, um, yeah, man, y'all, have a good one. Your boy X. Like, share, subscribe, Wakanda forever. See y'all next time.